are certain states. So I'm sure that partly has something to do with something. <laughs> He's angry. I'm gonna have to work on giving myself some grace today. I just can't catch a break. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Good morning. Good morning. I have a question for you guys. This question is going to be yes across the board, but who who wants to win the lottery? I mean, a lot of people think that would solve their problems. It doesn't no, necessarily. It really doesn't. And here's the problem. I think people don't know how to set boundaries anymore. Mm -hmm. Like just in general. Like that's an issue. Yeah. Not knowing how to set boundaries. And then you make a butt ton of money. And it ruins your relationships. So, so like things that they tell you not to do is don't tell anybody. Yeah. And then like except for there's the news. Yeah. So, so if anybody watches the news. Oh well, yes. Don't tell anybody. But also there are certain states. <laughs> what is? I don't know. Sorry, people. I am. Job. Ah. I'm. I am a very bad job, but I am a job. A job. So there, there are certain states that let you claim it anonymously, and there are certain states that don't let you claim it anonymously. Mm -hmm. My question for you is: Would you tell me if you won the lottery? Of course. I mean, I'm just. I would probably tell you before I told you. <laughs> Not because like of anything like that I think Richard would do bad, but just like. Just, just like how you told me you were pregnant before you told Tanner. That's true. Which it's Tanner knows. But, just a yeah. thing that happens. I mean, he was in school at the time. Yeah. Like, well, and I was very him. confused. Yes. You were, you were both confused. Yeah. And you didn't actually, like, get to comprehend it until after. Oh, like, it took a while. Yeah. I kept telling myself, this isn't real life. And I'm not going to get excited about it because it might not be real life. Yeah. Well, so for... Because it was so soon. I know. After. And so it was like, I'm not gonna get excited about this yet because I don't want it to be taken away from me yeah <laughs> that was honestly where I was yeah I was like I can't be happy about this yet because it's not real no for so for like an hour I was like okay okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> no literally we got off the phone and you went into a doctor's I went straight into a doctor's you're with doctor my with Bobby yeah walk off Oh my god, did somebody actually not park in that spot? <laughs> oh my gosh, you just scared me. We can go grocery shopping now. Okay, bye. It's gonna be so fun. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna get out of this car. Bo Fouts. My hand smells like gasoline and I don't like it. It doesn't smell like gasoline. Something smells like it. Maybe it's my shoes. Maybe it's gas. <laughs> 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 okay. What did it look like? A chicken foot. <laughs> <laughs> that other one looked like a face sucker. <laughs> oh, guys, barberries. There is always a reason to be grateful. Always, always, always. I love this so much, and I bet it stinks, but I kind of want to buy it. Okay, hi guys. We have a fanny pack. We have a fanny pack. Was it always fanny? Well, that's dumb. <laughs> she was able to get out of the car before he stopped her from going in. Thanks for shopping with us, guys. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. Welcome back to the vlog. That's really more for me because. I've been out of it for a week. So the last time you guys saw me, I mean in vlog, was like 
a week and a half ago. <laughs> I can't even remember if I talked about it in the vlog, but when we went to H Mart, I started getting like a tickle in my throat. And like, I just thought it was allergies because allergies have been really bad. And Friday night, by the time we got home, I started feeling like maybe it might be more than allergies. So I took a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I took a bunch of like lysine and emergency and just like a bunch of stuff that I usually start taking as soon as I start to feel like I'm getting sick because it helps my body fight it faster. By Saturday morning when I woke up, it felt like I was swallowing glass. Like I couldn't even hardly swallow. My throat hurt so bad. I just felt horrible on Saturday. So we stayed home, took COVID test. COVID was negative. I was home all day Sunday, trying to feel better. Monday came around. I had already scheduled my one year GLP video for Monday. And I had my life scheduled for Tuesday, but I was still just feeling absolutely horrible. And so I decided to take a few days off to try and get better faster. And I still did the live on Tuesday because I wanted to make sure that I got that time with you guys. And I'm really glad I did. It was such an awesome live. If you missed it, I'll link it here. You can watch it. It's really long though. <laughs> Basically, other than the live, like after the live, I pretty much spent the rest of the week on the couch. I played some video games and stuff like that. But like, other than that, it's the first time since starting this journey over a year ago that I haven't edited and posted video content. Even when I had COVID, I was still, you know, doing that. But honestly, this was worse than COVID. I felt worse than I had when I had COVID. So I had like zero energy last week. I didn't stick to my meal plan because I couldn't cook. I didn't weigh myself. Like it pretty much became a week away from everything. Diet, exercise, YouTube, everything. I didn't do anything last week. So this week, today especially, is going to be a little rough because my house is in absolute shambles. I haven't really done dishes. I haven't kept up with housework. Nothing. So the house is a mess. <laughs> We're pretty much out of clothes because I haven't done laundry. And, you know, I'm still not 100%. I'm a million times better than I was, but I'm still not like 100%. Like I'm not firing on my whole cylinders here. But we're going to fake it till we make it. As far as like sickness goes, like I'm I'm on the mend. I can breathe through both nostrils. I can function. I can get up and I can get around and things. I'm going to still need to be kind to myself this week because I don't have the kind of energy that I normally do. I'm hoping that once I get my B12 in me this morning that that's going to help. And because I wasn't feeling well, I wasn't doing the absolute best at staying on top of my supplements. So I'm also a little backed up. <laughs> you know, remember that part where I told you guys I'm not the best at taking care of myself? It's a thing. Two steps forward, one step back. One step forward, two steps back. However that works where you're still making progress, but it's slow. That's a thing. Finished getting myself together. On top of that, it's raining. So today would normally be a day. But... Obviously, I can't walk outside when it's raining, and I'm the entertainingest girl ever right now, I can tell. So, <laughs> let's go take Helios out so he can do his business, get some breakfast in us, and take our shot. That's the other thing that didn't happen last week. On Monday, I was feeling so crappy and just like, bruh. I forgot to do my shot in the morning. I didn't even think about it until late afternoon. And then I was like, oh, I'm not feeling good. I'll just do it tomorrow. And then by Tuesday, I had decided that I wasn't going to do anything during the week. And I also felt like with my body being so like, oof, like I didn't want to burden it with trying to fight something with the drugs in my system. And so I didn't take my Manjaro last week. And that's the first time since starting this journey that... I have not taken my shot. So I'm sure that partly has something to do with something that, 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 that something to do with it. But you know, goodness. I'm gonna take some vitamin C drops because I feel like my immune system still needs a little bit of support. And I might take some vitamin C later, or I mean some emergency later. 
But for now, let's take this dog outside and figure out breakfast in our shop. Okay? Okay. So little, and we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need a Okay. Those are sorted. If taken, would be 12. Come on drugs, don't fail me now. Let's go make some breakfast, okay? Since my memory has not been the most dependable of late and forgetting my shot has been a thing multiple times, we're gonna get that out of the way before we start breakfast. If you haven't seen me do one of these shop videos before, welcome. Uh, we always start with sanitizing the area. You have three choices of injection sites. You can either inject in the back of your arm, which you need someone else to do because you can't see everything while you're injecting if you do it in the back of your arm. Um, the front of your thigh or in your stomach, you need to rotate injection sites, which means if you do your stomach, you do one side of your belly button one week, one side of your belly button the other week. If you do arms or legs, you do one arm one week, one arm the other, one arm the other week, or one leg one week, one leg the other week. As far as the pen is concerned, there's a very specific order of operations. The drugs are in here. There's a little bubble that goes back and forth so you can see there are drugs, drugs. There's a little gray cap here that you're going to take off only when you're ready to inject. Once you take the cap off, you're going to press the pen to your skin firmly. There's a little ridged collar here with pictures of a locked lock and a green unlocked lock. Once it's pressed to your skin, you're going to rotate it to the unlock side and then you're going to push the purple button on the end. You will hear two clicks. The first click is the needle coming out and injecting the medicine. The second click is the needle retracting up inside the pen. So you don't need to wonder whether or not it's done because once the second click goes, the needle isn't in your skin anymore. Cap off, this is dry. I'm gonna press it firmly to the skin, rotate to unlock, push to dispense. Ow. The little needle in there is really easy to bend, so that's why you don't wanna take it off until after it's done that one. So the needle didn't hurt at all. The needle never hurts. It's so tiny you don't feel it. But the drugs were real stingy this time, which sometimes it stings, sometimes it doesn't. People will tell you, oh, it needs to be room temperature. If you read the drug literature, it specifically says that the temperature of the drugs make no difference. And I will tell you that that has been my experience. I've had it not sting at all straight out of the fridge. I've had it sting straight out of the fridge. I've had it not sting at all room temperature. I've had it sting room temperature. So you do what you want to your body. And then this gets disposed of in a sharps container. If you don't have a sharps container, there is a link down in the description to one that Eli Lilly will provide to you for free. I keep them in my little box until I'm done so that I remember how many I have left. I know it's dumb. I could just count how many pens are left, but it's just what I do because I'm a silly. Anyway, that's it. Let's make some breakfast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to have so much energy. It's going to happen. Where did you go? <laughs> what I'm about to say may shock you. Are you ready? I've never had avocado toast. I know. All the millennials in the audience. Sit down. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I don't know why. I like avocado. I like toast. I like eggs. It's just... I'm not a fan of paying a lot of money for food that's really simple and I've just never made it myself. So, look, I warned you about the state of my house. I've already been picking stuff up and it still looks like this. So, you know, it's just your, <laughs> well, this is just life right now. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get a handle on it. It's just, it's gonna take some time. We're gonna try a couple things. Soft boiled eggs are hard to do. So, I know you can do hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. And so I tried to look up some recipes and I found out that you can supposedly soft boil eggs in the air fryer. And that takes much less time. And it means I don't have to do any dishes. So <laughs> if you know me, lazy is the way. I'm gonna put mine in a little oven safe ramekin. We're gonna do 250 degrees for eight minutes. And then you put it in an ice bath to let it cool down so that you can peel it and eat it. And 
hopefully we'll have a nice jammy yolk. Now we have seven minutes to prepare the rest of our breakfast. So the recipe that I'm using called for sourdough toast, which is delicious and I love sourdough toast and I would be happy to use it except for sourdough toast has a lot of calories in it. And this Sara Lee Delightful Bread, if you've never had it, is quite delightful and it's only 45 calories a slice. So I am going to use this. I'm only going to do one slice because I'm not very hungry in the morning these days. So the recipe called for halloumi, which is delicious and I love halloumi, but the halloumi at my store was crazy expensive. So very closely related to halloumi is paneer. And paneer actually has about the same number of calories, but it actually has more protein in it. So that's why I decided to go with this. And they are both cheeses that you can actually grill in a pan and they get a little bit crispy on the outside and melty on the inside and happy in your mouth. So we're gonna do an ounce of avocado. <laughs> He's angry. Okay, we need to pause. I have to take a bathroom break. My egg just turned off. I am, I'm struggling this morning, you guys, more than I thought I would. Just having a hard time. Trying a brand new recipe when you're not filing, falling, firing, firing. When you're not firing on all cylinders is not the best idea, probably. Pull this out with some tongs and throw it in some ice water. I also forgot I was eating sausage. I told you guys, struggling. I am on the struggle bus today. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, I love chicken maple sausage. Specifically this brand, Applegate. It is not cheap, but it has fantastic ingredients. And it tastes amazing. I thaw it for 30 seconds in the microwave and then I fry it in a pan. Sometimes I just cook it in the microwave, but since I'm going to be cooking the cheese in the pan anyway, I figured I would do that anyway. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to soft, er, soft boil these eggs every day. Not that it was difficult, I just, I kind of have my doubts that it's going to be better than just a sunny side up egg that I normally cook. But we shall see. And I need to be preheating this pan, which I have not been doing. Again, brain. You want these to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Two slices of paneer. Put these in the pan and let them fry and they will get crispy on one side and then you flip them over and they'll get crispy on the other side and then you'll put them on your toast. One ounce of avocado. We're going to try a quarter, three quarters of an ounce. Probably good enough. And we're going to call that good because I'm not going to start butchering up tiny pieces of avocado. Avocado pieces in here. Ooh. Pretty. Let me show you. See how nice and brown it is? I like pretty food. Okay, I'm going to toast my toast. So, I'm going to peel this egg. Oh, okay. Uh, soft boiled, all right. Oh, yeah, no, that's very much not cooked. Okay, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Let me take these babies out. Ah. Yeah, this is a kind of a failed experiment here. I don't know what to do. Um, that's what it looks like. It's definitely not cooked. Um, I'm throwing this away. That's the thing with soft boiled eggs, right? You never know until you open them if they're cooked or not, and that did not work so well for me. We're just gonna do a sunny side up egg. Oh no. Yep. Oh, it's actually perfect. Okay, so we have our toast, and I'm gonna take this piece of avocado and a fork and some salt. Avocado can take a lot of salt, you guys, and it needs it, to be honest. Once our egg is done, We'll throw that on top. Ta -da. The longest, most ridiculous avocado toast in history. I'm going to wash the strawberries because now when I look at it, this is not very much food. Okay, we'll cut up these strawberries real quick and then we'll give this a taste. So, ooh, runny yolk. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a fork and knife situation. I definitely think this could use some tomato. I think it needs some acid. There's a lot of rich going on here between the cheese and the avocado and the egg yolk. 
I mean, it's not not tasty. Mm, cheese is delicious. Of course I did that. I don't even know that I can really taste the avocado, but it needs tomato. I like it though. Yeah, I would give this a try if you like red peppers, like they use roasted red peppers and it needs some sort of acid element. So it needs like a slice of tomato or ooh, like a splash of balsamic vinegar would probably be kind of good. But it needs that like to lift it up right now it's a lot of richness it's like the fatty yolk and the fatty avocado and the cheese which isn't super fatty but there is a fatty element to it <laughs> but there's a lot of protein in this breakfast almost 30 grams and it's quite delicious and it's gonna be easy for me to eat so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna try to gather my thoughts and figure out how to sort my life out this morning <laughs> because it's not happening. I feel so completely out of the groove. Like, I feel like I don't even know how to film. I don't know how to talk to you guys. Like, it's it's only been a week, less than a week. Okay, right. mm. I'm gonna get it together, guys, I promise. You know the drill, you stay on task better when y'all are with me. So we're gonna do our best to get this kitchen clean so that I can cook in it without feeling disgusting because I have to get back to eating my own food. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna get in the groove. I'm already running out of steam. Basically, just switched over a load of laundry and put away a few clothes and talked to my sister for about while well, I talked to my sister for about 30 minutes, and I'm already feeling exhausted. It's it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> Things must pass, but I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wait. <laughs> after 15 minutes and it was still looking really underdone to me so I put it back in set a five minute timer took it out at the five minutes and now it's like cremated it is what it is because I don't have any more bacon and I'm gonna be just fine we're making another one of these flexible dieting lifestyle recipes so this is another pasta salad recipe it's a chicken BLT pasta recipe with like an avocado cilantro dressing situation which I'm pretty excited about so I'm gonna start throwing this together I also this week because you know I didn't already have enough on my plate decided to start trying out the macros first food tracking app because my fitness pal has just been annoying and now that they're not allowing the barcode scanning anymore a lot of people are switching over to macros first and I really like the barcode scanning feature. I really like the customizability of it to, you know, easily increase your protein intake and all of that stuff. Like it's got a bunch of really cool features, but there's a very steep learning curve. And because the database isn't as large as my fitness pals, there's a lot of adding foods. And of course, with any database that's maintained or added by people, there are a lot of, and there's a lot of incorrect information in there. And because I'm so OCD, like, if it's even like one gram off, I feel like I need to fix it. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to let go of that, but I don't know how right now. So it just, it took me forever to create this recipe in the app and it's just unnecessary <laughs> how long it took me. So my bacon is cooked. I need to boil my pasta. I also need to cook my chicken. I'm gonna do all of that. Like he doesn't give any specifics as to how to season the chicken. Like I think he just did his with salt and pepper and then cooked it in the air fryer. I did cook mine in the air fryer that one time 
the way that he recommended it and that was great and all but I'm just gonna cook it in a pan because I feel like it's less mess and it's just faster um, so yeah I'm so sorry you guys I know that I am a hot mess today and I am trying so hard to not be <laughs> anyway let's get this stuff thrown together and figure out this lunch because I have a feeling it's gonna take me a while to make it and it's already 1220 so Let's do this. The good thing is, is that once it's done, I don't, I don't have to make lunch for the rest of the week. It's already prepped and done, and all I have to do is just take it out and shove it in my face. So, let's do this. I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere. They keep saying I'll be fine, but how you know that I'll be there? When it feels like I'm lying every time, someone Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember <sighs> Still chunky I'm probably gonna have to get my blender dirty anyway Oops, second I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up I mean, one thing I will say about these meal prep recipes, like, yeah, you save time by having them all cooked at once, but, like, so many elements, and it just takes forever to throw together. I mean, it's almost 2 o'clock now. Mm -hmm. Part of that was my fault, because I tried to save myself some dishes and not having to get out my blender, but, yeah, then that ended up backfiring, so try this out. I will say I tasted the dressing and if you don't make anything else, the dressing for this is worth making for sure because it is delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is better than the street corn salad. Yeah, that's real good. One thing I will say, I built the recipe myself. I weighed everything out exactly the way he did and in fact my avocado was smaller than what he said to use and like I did everything else the same and my calorie count was 35 more calories than what he had which doesn't sound like a lot except when you're eating it five times you know that's 160 some calories and almost 200 calories it also had one last gram of protein but I mean we're talking 53 grams of protein in one serving of this stuff and this is a hefty serving. This seems like a much larger serving than that corn salad was. I'm not gonna be mad about eating that this week. The avocado dressing though, that is the new hotness. Like, this was good guys. If you've got the time, cause like I said, it, it took some serious time and I was multitasking. Granted, I'm moving a little slower than I normally do right now, but Worth it. So good. Mm -hmm. yep. So, just an aside, I haven't worked on editing at all yet today. <laughs> Literally, I've just been going from cooking to cooking. Well, and then the cleaning in between. But, y'all, I am struggling today. <laughs> Granted, this is the most activity I've done in a week. But, I'm going to have to work on giving myself some grace today. So my brain strikes again. I uh, just made dinner and totally forgot to film the whole thing. So um, it really wasn't much of a recipe. I, as you guys know, I live in Texas and we have H-E-B here and something that they just started coming out with was these pre-marinated meats for like meal starters. So they have this chicken teriyaki meat and I basically just took some veggies, uh, some broccoli, cabbage, and then a bag of sugar snap pea frozen 
medley type thing and I threw those in a pan and I let them cook until they were kind of brown around the edges and then I added a little bit of that Korean barbecue sauce that we've used in the past just to add some flavor to the veggies. I cooked up the chicken teriyaki and then I threw some rice in the rice cooker. So <laughs> I'll show me putting it together but I am it's just, again I'm I apologize it's gonna take me a minute to get back into it because my brain she is bent. Mm -hmm. I'm also experiencing some lower back pain, which I know is a pretty common side effect from Manjaro. I've just never experienced it before. So I'm chalking that up to the fact that I did not take my shot last week. I kind of knew that there was a chance that I might end up with some side effects that I've never had before or some more severe side effects. And so far so good. I'm just, I am like the fatigue is bad. So, I mean, I'm... I haven't experienced fatigue like this since before I found the B12, but I mean, I'm guessing that this is a combination of the shot and the me just still not feeling the absolute best. So it's going to be okay. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> I'll show you some dinner. You're all that I want, could you let me in? The last drink was the last drink, but I don't want to leave. Morning, guys. I was so excited last night to come on and give you guys an update this morning because yesterday I was able to get to 142 grams of protein, which is the highest amount of protein that I've ever gotten to in a day. It was more than, I want to say it was like 42% of my total daily intake, which is way more than my goal of 30. And I was so proud of myself and excited about how I had set myself up for success with the week with making that lunch and everything. Last night we had a massive storm here. There was a tornado warning and around 10, 15 last night we lost power. It's about close to 9 a.m. and we still don't have power and they're estimating that power won't be restored until after 3 p.m. this afternoon which means that all of the food that I prepped yesterday and everything in my fridge is going to be spoiled not only does that mean that I have hundreds of dollars worth of food that has gone bad now between the condiments that I had in there and you know just the all the food that I had between leftovers from last week and the stuff that I cooked for this week and the stuff that I had waiting to be cooked for this week but the hours of time that I spent yesterday prepping to try and set myself up for success for this week are completely wasted it's really hard not to feel like I just can't catch a break. I just, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it unless by some miracle, Jesus decided to save all of my food and make it my refrigerator stay extra cold for a really long time. But everything I've read says, even if you don't open the door, that a refrigerator will only keep food cold for up to four hours without power. My freezer is probably okay because my freezer is stuffed full. So that will keep stuff cold for up to two days. I can't think about it much longer because I'm going to cry. Anyway, I also didn't get my video edited yesterday. I only got a small portion of it done and my video is supposed to go up tomorrow and I don't see how in the world I'm going to be able to do that. They've changed the estimated time of repair four times since. So I don't even know that it's actually going to be restored by 3 p.m. It's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for being here. So power is back on. Thank goodness. Obviously you can see the halo, the glow. So I'm working on the edit 
and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get it done today. Richard just let me know that he is off work early, going to be off work early, so we're going to catch some lunch together because I still haven't brought myself to see what the situation is like in my refrigerator. I do think that the food that I cooked yesterday might be okay. I did temp that because I, I'm just devastated that all that work just you know went down the drain potentially <laughs> um, and it was slightly above the safe temperature but I'm still doing research to find out if it actually is safe or not because it wasn't super far above it and it, it can be above the temperature as long as it wasn't above that temperature beyond a certain period of time so I still need to figure out how long it takes for that anyway it's a thing y'all it's going to get better. I'm having a protein shake because I don't know if my eggs are safe to eat or not. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to, it's going to, we're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And you know, I can't change it and I'm doing my best not to freak out about it. And that's about the best that I got right now. I'm going to show you this because these pants are a 1X, which Walmart says is a 1680. That's not a thing. That's not real life. That's not. Isn't that real life? I still can't get over how giant this serving of this pasta salad is. It's freaking huge. Basically, I weighed like the final dish and then that macros first tap. If you put the full weight in, it automatically tells you if you put in the servings how much your serving should weigh. I tempt this and the teriyaki chicken that I made last night. It was just outside the acceptable range and when I looked up information it was saying that being outside of that acceptable range for a certain period of time was fine. So, I'm gonna risk it. I'll let y'all know later if this was a mistake. It was nice getting to have lunch with Richard today. He got home early and we went to Dos at the nachos. And we had intended to come home and play video games together, but they just released the pre-patch for a while today. Well, they're releasing the pre-patch for a while today. And they're supposed to be done with scheduled maintenance by like noon. Well, then they extended it to three and then they extended it to six in that specific time. So that's eight o'clock our time and he's usually in bed by then. So that means we didn't really get to play together today. But we just kind of hung out and chilled. Yeah, this is so good. The, that avocado dressing, mm. I'll be keeping that in the arsenal for sure. It would be really good on tacos or there's this Mexican Caesar salad that they make at El Torito Grill. If you live where there is one and you haven't had it, go. And I have the recipe for that dressing, but it has a ton, like a ton of mayonnaise in it. This honestly is very close in flavor with like a fourth of the amount of calories and way more protein. I will probably be recreating that salad with this dressing sometime soon. Stay tuned for that. Just wanted to come on and let you guys know that my day did turn around knowing that all of the time I spent yesterday didn't get, you know, food prepping didn't get completely wasted. Unfortunately, I did have a good amount of food in my fridge that was raw, so there's still a lot of food that got wasted that I'm going to have to throw away that I still haven't thrown away yet, but I'm going to. And it's probably going to be a project tomorrow. So I don't love that, but I mean, it is what it is. And we're just going to make the best with what we got. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me and giving me a reason to find some brightness in my day. I'm really disappointed that I'm not getting back to exercising yet, but I I just don't think my body's ready for it. Like I'm still just like so tired. So I think I just need to give myself some grace and let my body heal. And hopefully by later in the week, I'll be feeling up to doing some exercise. In the meantime, Thanks for being awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. 
say hi to me down in the comments. Let me know how things are going for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.